All right. Hi, how are you both doing? Hi, hey. how are you? Good, good. Um, and when they say hi too, they're ready for Easter. So <laughs> um well, got a Glendall. That's great. Yeah, he's my favorite. <laughs> um Devin, I would love to start with you. So I feel like at this point, there has to be some kind of like Guinness world record of, you know, a single actor who's died the most in a single TV series. Um, when you signed up for the- How do you know? I, I, I we, we, we don't know if I die yet on this season. It's, uh... Did you, Samantha, have you seen, did you see the last four episodes? <laughs> I have, but just, yeah. just from the first it's two- It's a safe Vegas bet really. for sure. <laughs> um. um not revealing your fate for this season, but when you signed up initially, were you aware that you would be coming back year after year, or did that just kind of happen? No idea. I didn't even know mostly through season one that I would. I was. I was one and done for me. It was. It was. I was enjoying the first season. I was enjoying dying on the first season, and I guess they loved killing me so much that they decided to bring me back. And it's been. It's been an absolute blast. I. I. Uh, I it's amazing. It's, I can't. I, you know. It's a, it's a good job. It's a good gig. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Your death in season two was particularly violent when you blew up as the priest. That was fun. <laughs> they, Dawn texted me at three in the morning to show me a video. Of, he sent me a video at like in the middle of the night sometime of, of that actual death. He was so happy. And I heard in the back, oh, wow. like, was literally, and like, we killed you. It, it was awesome. literally the very last shot of the season. The literally the last shot we did I, I had flown on home. our very last day. Yeah, I, I flew home and, and they used my, they made a double of me. The dummy. And they I loaded up with dynamite blood packs and all sorts of stuff. And, and um, he had to do it twice. It was, it was nice to see. It was, it was nice to hear the applaud in the background. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and now, Don, what was it like having Brad Dorf on set for such an extended period of period of time? It's been a while. It was aw yeah, it was awesome. It was the first time he'd been on set since Curse of Chucky uh, ten years ago. But you know, this you know he was around a lot more this time since he's in um, you know three episodes. So it was a blast having him. And I think everyone, everyone loved, you know, having Chucky there. It, you know, I think everyone was like, oh, we got to really up our game. But he, you know, he's such a cool guy. He, he, you know, he was hanging around even when he wasn't working. He was hanging around with the puppeteers. He's just like doing like a lot of stuff that he just honestly hadn't had opportunity to do, you know, in 35 years of doing this. Because usually... You know, he, you know, we're recording with him before we shoot and, and then he doesn't come to set. Um, so it, it was really great having him around and seeing him work with Fiona and with the Chucky doll. You know, that was one of the reasons I wanted to do it. I just like, I need to like find some way of having Brad have scenes with Chucky. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, and so we accomplished that at the top of episode seven you know, when he's in the spirit realm. So it was, it was a lot of fun. For, for some of us on set, we had never experienced Brad like that. Like Don's been working with Brad a lot. He works with on the voice. Um, and Fiona obviously sees him a lot more than any of us, but I guess for me and some of the younger actors, that was our first time experiencing Brad. And I, I, I was extremely starstruck. It was like, you know, he opens his mouth and he speaks. You hear that, you know, that tinge of Chucky coming out of him and it's, it's iconic and nostalgic and, um, he, he's a great dude. He was, he was a lot of fun to have around. Sure. Okay. And one last question. You know, Chucky has kind of conquered the church and politics. Where would you want to see him go next? Yeah. Well, space. Uh, <laughs> do you want, Samantha, do you want him to go to space? I mean, it, I've, it, <laughs> seems, to me, it seems to me the fandom is pretty divided on that yeah. idea. Like there's some, like some people go absolutely, and others just as many say, please don't do that. <laughs> I feel like if you can incorporate, I would love to see Gigi come back. So maybe incorporate them into it. I'd be down for the space plot line. Um, for what it's worth, uh, I've already pitched an idea for season four to the network. Okay. Um, one thing I can say is that it is not Chucky in space, um, but it is a cool, you know, a what? Cool menu. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not hard. doing that at some point. I just need to have more more of a groundswell of support for that idea. Maybe maybe it needs to cook a while longer. Okay. I'm not sure.
maybe a movie down the line. <laughs> so Chucky versus the Predator. That's what. Yeah. That's that's. Uh... <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you both so much. Thank you.